Hey guys, it's James here. So, um, I just wanted to show you how I'm creating video. So, um, I'll show you three processes. So, we've got stable diffusion um, using Comfy UI, and then we've got Pika, and then we've got Runway. So, on the screen at the moment, I've got Runway and Pika, and uh, the stable diffusion is actually on a PC. So, I'll just show you these two methods for the moment. So what we do is we get some images first. So uh, downloads. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is what we're going to start with. Um, it's just been made in mid journey, and I know this part of the eye doesn't work very well, but that's just the example I just wanted to go with for this one. Um, Okay, so the, what you do is you sign up to both of these. Uh, Pika has a free plan at the moment. Runway is paid. Um, and we'll have a quick look at how quick they are and someone like that. And all you've got to do on um, on Runway, you just click on that little one there. Just that one that says Gen 2 there. Um, and then all you do is just drag your image over there like that. With this one, um, again, you just drag you just drag in and then you just press um, enter that should then change that little logo will change and it will generate on this one as well so I've already done this image already over here but I just want to show you how quickly they they, they take to start all right okay that one just started oh look it's a tie at the moment this will be interesting to see all right Pika was quicker that time sometimes runway is faster sorry uh, runway is quicker this time and Pika, yeah, so this time and the last time I tested this like at the same time, um, I found Runway was quicker at starting and just quicker at getting it done. Um, Alright, cool, so let's have a quick look at this one then. Oh yeah, oh that's cool, that is cool, that is cool. Out of all of them, that's probably been the best one so far. Uh, so we, here we got our side by side comparisons. So um, what I did was I, I did four generations from from each platform. So to give you an idea um, of how, of how that, how they all work, because every time you do a generation from each of the platforms, you know it's slightly different each time. Um, so for me, it's a clear winner. I think Runway is the best one out of all of them. Pika is second and Stable Diffusion is last. Right. The thing is, my settings on Stable Diffusion, they, I probably haven't set it right because there's so many things um, that you could do in order to get good video output using Comfy UI that I just haven't had time to do all the iterations of settings. So anyone that's thinking about doing Stable Diffusion because... <clears throat> Because you think, oh, you know, I might be saving money um, doing it locally instead of using one of the websites. You'll be saving money, but it, the quality until you understand how the settings work is going to be crap in comparison to Pika and Runway. So, and I do feel like I let some of the artists down when I did the, the 2023 best of video because I just did them in stable diffusion. And, and at the time, because I had so many clips to deal with, I wasn't thinking... I better do a quick comparison between Runway and Pika. I guess this is all part of the learning process. You know, you gotta you gotta throw yourself into these things, and um, and see and you know see what you can do. I mean, there are some benefits to doing everything in Stable Diffusion in the Comfy UI. Um, it's 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 quicker just to set jobs up. Um, you drag your image in. Um, you click Q and it's done. Click it again. You get another one come out. Um, click it, change a few settings. It's it's like all in front of you. You don't need to go, uh, you know, hunting for things. Um, it's all there. But then again, it's very complicated because um, because of the the workflows, uh, which is what this interface is called here. Uh, you know, they can be quite complex. Okay, so what I want to show you here is um, a way of upscaling, which this does generally work. Um, so 
First you've got to get your video and you've got to put it into a sequence of clips. So you go into batch um, once you're here and then you, let me just pause it there. And then what happens is um, you've got to copy and paste the, the file location into, into this little bit here and then put the output folder there as well. Uh, and then you've got to cl click your model that you want to use for the upscaling then you click generate so then what happens is when it just generates the the outputs it puts them here so these are really good i think these are 4000 pixels by i don't know something it'll say there oh it's too tiny sorry i can't even read it 4000 by something uh, apparently that's 4k when it gets onto youtube that's what youtube reckons